Let's balance the equation HgOH2 plus H3PO4, mercury 2 hydroxide, and this is phosphoric acid. So the first thing we'll do when we balance equations, we're going to count the atoms up, and we'll use a bit of a trick here to make this easier. So we have our 1 mercury, and then we have 2 times everything here. So 2 times 1, that gives us 2 oxygens here. 2 times the 1, that gives us the 1 hydrogen here. For the phosphoric acid, we do have the three hydrogens here, so a total of four hydrogens. But we're going to count the PO4. This is the phosphate ion, is one thing. Because it stays together, we have it over here again. So we count this as one thing. We have one phosphate ion. That makes it a lot quicker when we go to balance the equation. So on the product side, we have three mercury. We're going to leave the phosphate alone for now. We have one oxygen. We have two hydrogens. And then we have two of these phosphate ions here. So that makes it a lot easier. You get the same answer either way. This is just quicker. Why don't we balance the mercury first? We'll put a 3 here. 1 times 3. That'll give us 3. But we do need to update the hydrogens and the oxygens. So we have 3 times the 1 times the 2. So we have 6 oxygens here. And remember the phosphate, we leave that alone. And then we have 3 times the 1 times the 2, 6 hydrogens, plus we have these 3 hydrogens here, so 9 hydrogen atoms. Hmm. Why don't we put a 3 in front of the water in the H2O? Because 2 times 3, that would give us 6. That would balance the hydrogens. And then 3 times the 1 there, that would give us 3 oxygens. So actually, let's make this a 6 instead. So we make this 6. Now we have 1 times 6. That would balance the oxygens. And then 2 times 6. That would give us 12 of these hydrogen atoms. I think at this point I'm going to leave the hydrogen alone because if I balance the phosphates, I have 2 here and only 1 here. So if I put a 2 here, that might fix the hydrogens. So now I have 2 times the 1 phosphate. So I have 2 phosphates. Those are balanced. Let's update the hydrogens. So we have 3 times the 1 times the 2, that's 6, plus 2 times the 3, that's 6. That gives us 12. So we're done. This equation is balanced. This technique of counting the polyatomic ion is just one thing if it's on both sides. You can apply that to a number of chemical equations, and it saves a lot of time. Again, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HgOH2 plus H3PO4. The type of reaction here would be double displacement. The mercury and the hydrogens are changing places. This HOH, that's H2O. Thanks for watching.